All right, who's real techie? Zach. Come here, Zach. You're techie. I guess I am. No. I can't get my phone to pair with this thing. It says, oh wait, this is it. This gem box is in pairing mode. See, I just needed you. You are techie. This is a very important piece of furniture. It smells good. It smells good? <laughs> Talking about Tony's egg. Oh. I got it. Got it? Yeah. The heat's set at 62. The door's wide open and it's 64 in here. Nice. That's my favorite part. Because that means saving money. Which is very crucial right now. Anybody else want some while I'm holding it up? My arms won't last too much longer. Okay, we're gonna jam out. You guys ready to jam? I mean, hardcore. All this homemade food, right? It's supposed to, uh, you know, heal your body. It's gonna be chicken feet and all kinds of stuff. Oh, no way. Yeah. You guys call me when you're done. <laughs> chicken feet? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be all kinds of healing stuff. Hey, you know what? Believe it or not, chicken feet are good for you. Yes. Because it's got good juice in it. It's got bone marrow. My mother, my mother, my wife told me my mother in law used to use chicken feet to make. Broth or yeah, because it's got bone marrow. I've done a lot of first time stains in the last eight months. Yeah? <laughs> Let's do it in this group. <laughs> you what? I actually went to get a Yukon Denali XL or whatever the heck you had to call it because a buddy, a client of mine, drove me home in it. And my avalanche was getting, it was getting pretty beat up, 125,000 miles. But uh, it was more expensive. The gal said, well, you can get this and it's less money than that. And so I said, well, Give me that then. She's like, oh yeah, no worries, take the time. <laughs> Directions to Blue Lotus, Flint, Michigan. Which Blue Lotus? Tap the one you want. Franklin Road? Getting directions to Blue Room. Blue Room? No, we don't want to go to the Blue Room. I've never heard of Franklin Road. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need me to help you with your mapping function? I need you to not speak at this juncture. <laughs> oh. Matt, were you with us when we went to Kentucky and we played this song really loud? We were going to a yearling sale. I don't think, were you turning up to him? We uh, Maybe. so we pull into the sale, and there you know there's people everywhere, and we had this song as loud as it could go, all the windows down, <laughs> just come and jam, and it as well. Hey, Zach, just ride. Right. Play on your phone. I'm in, the, I'm in the kid's seat for a reason. Google, Google something. <laughs> GTS. Do you know which way is back to the office? <laughs> East or west? Oh, so excited. You are? Yes. No snowy boats or shoes. Okay. Should I take them all off? Yep. They're coming off. You guys just gonna hang out up there all night? <laughs> What's up, dog? Hey, what's going on? How are you? See you. Oh, see you, buddy. He, he's already filming. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi there. Hi, Abby. How's it going? Hi, Abby. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Hey, hey Tony! I didn't even notice that was you. What are you doing? What's up, bro? I didn't even know. I saw some dudes standing over there. I thought you saw a black dude out there. Who the hell is that out here? Hi, Abby. element on the elemental chart in it and it vibrates at like a real high rate um, I'm real prone to feeling vibrations like this meteor that I wear it's called Moldavite it actually vibrates higher than that is your neck hurt uh -uh. you don't have any neck pain uh -uh. And you got something going on with your heart. See, look at this dent right there. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, <laughs> look at that dent right there. That's that's in the heart area. Mm -hmm. So first thing it would be would be upper right. cervical pain, or the, if you had cold cold hands and feet, mm -hmm. any temperature issues? You Hot again? all the time. Hot all the time? Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's seven thousand in my office. Let me see. Gave her a car too. Yeah. That a girl. I asked, I said, where do you live? She said, well, I'm looking to move right now. I said, oh, are you working with the realtor? She goes, no. I go, well, there's six buyer's agents here right now. And Paula heard me and she just shot right over and started talking to her. You guys all gonna be around tomorrow afternoon? Yeah. Okay. At 4 p.m. we're gonna do some recording and we're gonna go live. Um, and maybe we'll have one of you sit in and chat with us. At the office or here? Um, at, probably at the office, in my in my office. What do you want oh, to work? Because I can do as much or as little as you want. I just want you to understand what the capabilities are. Okay. And then we can I can tell you what we can do, no matter what the budget needs to be. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, two quick things. Okay. Um, one, their uh, listing appointment tomorrow came in. Don's already sold them a house. Okay. They're writing. They need tomorrow. Okay. Um, I can do a, 11 for them, and then you have a 12 in Howell. So so what's happening okay. is when they come in on those seller leads, it's automatically, that task is already created in the follow-up system. Gotcha. So okay. I'm not doing it. Kim just came to me and he's like, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, let me figure this out because I don't know what you're supposed to do with yeah. it. And I'm like, okay. So, so when, when they move to qualify, it automatically says it to do to call them. It says on site now, call, but, but yeah, that's yeah. not necessarily true.